another travel news conspiracy. Hey, it's Susan. Welcome to this morning's episode of the War Crime Channel. You don't forget to get the damsel that that stun gun. 7.5 million volts. Could say really trying to the same one. You can find one of the ISUs from the shopping mall on Facebook, Damsel on the Fence, or ship it to what it is to you. Sue's ISUs is spelled I-S-U-Z. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe it. They're at it again. Well, about an hour and a half ago, I got a phone call from a man claiming to be from Oreos Medical Staff in Omaha, Nebraska. And I didn't contact them for a travel contract, they contacted me. And uh, here we go. Now remember, I live next door to an undercover drug detective, so I know how these guys act on the job. Do I really think that it was probably a recruiter of Mario's medical staff? No, I think it was an undercover staff. Yeah, that's, that's what I think. But anyway, as the story goes, the guy was from Orius Medical Staffing. And then uh, we've got the black operation keywords. Keywords, pay attention, pay attention to details. Keywords just opened up. There's a pattern to this nationwide. They're following a template. Just opened up. This just opened up. The just opened up as a travel nurse contract out of Las Vegas, Nevada, where all this corrupt conspiracy is, in which people ha are missing or murdered, including my mother and, 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 and the mother of my son's half-sister, Brooke. They're probably both dead, my mother and Tabitha. My mother, Brenda and I, who's a retired registered nurse. Tabitha is Brooke's mother, probably both murdered. I almost got murdered four years ago when I was held for a to Senator Harry Reid's office and I went to the U.S. Marshal Service on the stand of crap. So no, I'm not going back to Nevada. So it's strange that all of a sudden, all of a sudden, we have a contract that just opened up in Nevada. No, not going back. Additionally, a contract just opened up in Idaho. Really, Idaho. I don't have a license in Idaho. I don't have a license to practice nursing in Idaho. Why else is that important? That's also important because nobody in Idaho knows this case, so they would not know. So what the, what this FBI, this FBI agent doing this damn task force try, is trying to do to cover up for all this shit is that they're trying to hack people that would that would help them not go to prison. What's the best way to do that? To hack them. Why is it important that it happened today? Because yesterday I was in contact with two major entities that could help solve this big massive case. Council for the Texas Governor's Office on the Texas didn't want him back conspiracy. And the U.S. Department of State on the kids issue and this whole plea bargain and what the FBI and CIA have done about this. Well, they want to steer me away from Mexico. Why would they want to do that? Mexico is a sovereign nation. Mexico also has a formal ratified treaty with the International Criminal Court, which is very, very important in this case, because if all else fails, this, this case might sit before the ICC. So they would want to steer me away from places in which I could get to a country easily that has a treaty with the ICC. Whether that's Mexico or another, one of the other 121 countries that has a formal ratified treaty. So I mean, as I'm saying, they're up to all kinds of things. Steering North Carolina. If I can just get out of North Carolina together, my life would be so much better. Anyway, that's today's episode of War Crimes Unit. Keep your stun gun or machine gun handy. There are girlfriends in the center out there.